Hi, you're listening to Everyday Superpower, a place where you can take some time to learn about body language and nonverbal communication. Uh, really, really learn a superpower, uh, how you can read minds in real time, just by analysing behaviours and gestures of somebody's uh, unconscious and subconscious mind and how it plays out through their body. Alongside that, you will be able to uh, control your own body language and understand what makes you tick and how you can put yourself out there in the world as a better individual. If you enjoy what you hear and you want to continue learning about body language, I would recommend you click subscribe. Thank you. So today's lesson is going to be regarding the standing leg cross, such as the image ahead of you. Uh, we're not going to be talking about the seated leg cross or any other variations. We're going to be talking in particular of an individual who is standing up with their legs crossed. Okay, so opposite to the seated leg cross, which we've discussed earlier, the standing leg cross signifies comfort. All right, although not so much comfort that the genitals are on display. Okay, so the genital displays are a very bold display of comfort purely as as animals we don't expose our genitals full stop um, when we're under discomfort purely as our purpose is to procreate and continue okay so to re-clarify it's the opposite to the seated leg cross the standing leg cross signifies comfort now i want you to wonder why could that be why does the standing signify comfort where it it seems to be closed body language all right it doesn't seem to be open body language why why does it signify comfort all right it can be complemented by resting against the wall okay so we've discussed about that that's a territorial behavior resting against the wall putting your arms over a, a chair or on a um, just anything taking up space and touching and feeling you have the right to do so okay without even consciously considering why is a territorial display which is also a display of comfort also a display of dominance but in this particular case you know it's hit or miss you can take it into consideration from um you know occasion to occasion okay so what we're going to talk about is why is it a significant of comfort well it's significant of comfort purely as the individual cannot run away in this position. So if you're on your lunch break at work uh, with a individual who you are sexually interested in and um, would like to move things on further with in due time and they are standing with you with their legs crossed, you needn't think that it's a display of discomfort, okay? Because they're so comfortable around you they don't deem you a threat because that which is threatening, you need to, um, you know, be quick on your feet to be able to run away. Our feet don't lie. Uh, the distance between our feet and brain is the furthest uh, limb, uh, essentially. So the brain's, the brain consciously doesn't consider the feet are like the rest of the body when we... Uh, you know, portray ourselves in a particular manner. The feet and the legs are the last to get the message, so they are the most honest when it comes to subconscious behaviour. Our feet and legs are there for us to get away from potential threats. Most of our brain and automatic responses come through potential threats. You've heard of the fight or flight response. It's a very real thing. And it's uh, portrayed for our everyday life uh, through more indirect means than what it initially was meant for, running away and um, fighting, you know? So the legs are crossed, which is a display of comfort in your presence because they don't need to run away from you. So take that as you will, okay? So in case of any discomfort, on the contrary, the legs will actually unlock in case they do need to run away. Uh, more than likely won't literally need to run away, but their mind and their brain and their survival mechanism and uh, hardwiring over, you know, the, uh, you know, the hard, the biological hardwiring ever since we were primitive beings is going to trigger and have them legs unlock in case 
they need to run away because what's most important to our brain is that we actually survive and continue life, you know? Because without life, there's nothing. We can't do anything. So it's the most important thing, right? Just to go back on the note of the genital display, uh, the lack of genital display may imply that access is denied currently, although they are still comfortable in your presence. So they might not be uh, sexually engaged with you, but they might enjoy your company, all right? Uh, and they might not feel the need to domineer over you to the degree that they have to do a full frontal um, genital display. So it might also be a, a display of submission to some degree, okay? And that's about it. That was the standing leg cross. Uh, if you take one thing from this lesson today is uh, you will see this behavior. Uh, you will definitely see this behavior with individuals whom are in conversation or maybe somebody who is just waiting for someone. Um, it can come hand in hand with uh, territorial behavior such as resting against walls and um, so on and so forth. It's a great display of comfort. Why is it a great display of comfort? I'll let you answer that question. Uh, we've covered it in this video. It's because the individual isn't in a position to run away. They're so comfortable that they feel that they can lock themselves up and just relax, basically. Um, if it was seated, that's a display of discomfort and nervous energy, and it's a closed behavior, okay, um, which isn't good. You don't want to see that in people, especially people you're communicating with. Um, it signifies... Uh, negativity so hopefully you enjoyed this lesson and uh, if you want to continue learning click subscribe i've got my email in the bio below so if you want to drop me a message any inquiries feel free to do so i'll get back to you in due time thank you goodbye